Say what's new with the dolphin? Um, I loaded in her update, and well, for some reason, the entire front section of her rotor system was gone. So the game has just removed it. So I had to reinstall it. I've got no fucking idea why. Well, yeah, fun. Yeah. So 
She was trying to warn me before when she wouldn't start up that this game was going to get fucked again because, you know, Stormworks updates keep fucking us over. So, you know, she did well. Funnily well, enough, most of my stuff has been unfed up by this update. What about the gem you just bought? I remember that, though. Just half of it was just fucking, you know, repossessed or some shit. Half of it was Russian corruption to wait, yes, but, like, I don't get why it did that, though. Like, it works completely fine. Like, Jesus, all dude. the models are still there. Fuck, that's why. Like, those are recent versions, too. Those aren't old ones that have been languishing in the back of my files. Yeah. It's just fucked. They fucked it. It's just what Stormworks do, though. They just keep fucking us. Oh, the little water tower on the behemoth is working now, so I'm going to probably reinstall it somewhere. Nice. It was quite limp, dare I say, so I thought I was going to leave it out, but now it's working. I think I'm going to put it back in. Fair enough. Is your water turret limp? No. Remember, I'm Scottish. Mine are supposed to be bigger than anyone else's in the world. Call the number on screen if your water turret is limp today. <laughs> Side effects of the pill may consume as heart attacks, very, very, very rapid breathing. You may have very cotton mouth. You may feel very dry and warm and cold at the same time. You may sweat from the brow. You may game underbite. You may think, hmm, I think everything is sexy. And you may start getting a fast station to following sheep. If any of these symptoms come up, just don't visit your doctor. He's way busier to do with your shit. If any of these show up, uh... Uh, what if you say if they do show up? <laughs> Just the Google it. <laughs> it comes on the screen at www.google.com. Just Google it. Just flashing. Think for yourselves. Google it. I swear to fuck, see when I went to Canada, by the way. You know, you know, like, adverts you see, like, on, like, um, what is it, fucking Family Guy? You know, like, symptoms may include it, go through all the symptoms. I'm not kidding you. That shit is genuine. It was a fucking advert for, like, heart like medication, and it was, like, 16 lines came after it of, symptoms may include, da 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 da, I thought, no fucking way, this is real. <laughs> What's that? Well, a while ago, like, some anti-advertising group did a campaign where they ran an advert for a fake medication with like, it was basically a comedy sketch like that, but it was framed like a real advert in real telly. It wasn't like in a TV program. It was just slipped in with regular ads. It basically called itself like a cure for everything or something. And just it kind of made fun of the current situation. And the number of people that called up and legitimately tried to buy it is actually sad. I mean, I'm laughing, but yeah, just because like, you would think when you if it's if it's claimed to cure everything, you would at least try and figure out. Uh, the best line of it is may cause a rational hatred, may cause a rational fear and hatred of cheese and chickens. <laughs> you may suddenly want to stab the first chicken you see. Please don't go to the supermarket armed. <laughs> People will be terrified. No, this is a normal day in America. <laughs> oh, hang on, these are tourists. Why are we carrying them? Uh, there was a fire, but I've had reports that um, their sprinkler systems put it out, so we need to take them to the hospital to be checked out. Apparently, they've got third, like, first degree burns and stuff. Sprinkler system? You mean the rain? I mean, probably. I mean, it is a fucking old fort. Why the fuck would this thing have a sprinkler system? Uh, I also remembered that there's going to be a fun family, I mean, Mother's Day, a trip down to Littlestone, so I'd like to have the writing software kind of by... Saturday specifically. I am trying to find if you're right because what I did is I looked up what it is, right? The one we use, and I'm not even fucking kidding you. The first that popped up, I was like, oh, it's not the same symbol as what we use, but it's the same app, if you know what I mean. So I was like, oh, they must have updated the app. Do you know what? I shit you not? I went on it, I downloaded it to test it for you before I sent it to you. You know what came up? What? <laughs> I'm not even fucking you. It came up with this. <laughs> Subscribe for I'm not fucking you. 82 quid a year or two pound ninety nine. I a told month. you, I told you this would happen. I was like, what? No fucking way. I told you that would happen, Lewis. I told you, I called it. But my shit, like, the one I have is free, though. I mean, I, I don't know yeah, if maybe. You got the OG version back from when the world was a more wholesome place. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it was because it was sent it by people from Japan. That's why. Apart from Sony Music, who can die in hell, fuck all the people that work there, and I hope they get cancer right, and the building blows up and burns down and gets terrorized right, by right, a fucking terrorist right, group. All right, all um, right, all right. Japan's an amazing place, I love it. But Sony Music is a cancer on Japan, I hope it fucking dies off. Right. 
I'm probably gonna stick to what's this thing called? Something notes. It's pretty nice. See, I did find one, right? I'm not kidding you. I did find one app that you can like text to and it does the stuff like I said. It's like a, a right yeah, bot. Moodle. But it's not Moodle, let me find it. What's it called? No, I did I found one, but like it says like you can subscribe, right? For um like pre pro in it, but you don't need to, you can just do it for free. Oh, is it Mininote? I have no idea. I'll have a look. Yeah, that's check. the one that I'm currently using. But you like, get like a hundred free tabs, and if you recommend it to someone, you get another hundred free tabs. But if you, I think that like two hundred free tabs is a decent amount to begin with. Yeah. There's no word limit per tab, but there's like a space limit. You can only zoom out so far per tab. It's a fairly generous space. See, I'm just like. Again, me being autistic, dyslexic, and all that sort of shit. I don't really need these things. I just fucking, you know, I can set a computer and just fucking start typing up shit, and there it is. Yeah, but well, the problem is I want to have something with loads of unnecessary lines so I can have loads of fun organizing the different plot points. Because most of my plot lines are just one thought, kind of like almost like episonic. It doesn't really matter what order these events happen. There are a few things that need to happen in a certain order, but most of it is just a day that went down at some point in their life. Why do you not just. I know, just as like a JK version, right? Why do you not just use like VSDS, the one like my editor software I use, and just like add clips? Like, just make a generic clip that's just black screen or something, and just name it like what's going to happen in it, if you know what I mean. And then you can just shuffle the clips around as if like you're putting the story together. Because if you write on the clip, it'll pop up with the name on it. That's kind of what the notes thing does. It kind of has like story mode options. Like, you can have like. You can just have, like, lines between stuff, or, like, just bl block text. It's hard to describe, like, it's just basically a virtual, like, pin board where you can do loads of different stuff. Fair enough. I do like the fact that these people are like, oh, good, we're being rescued, we can go to hospital now, meeting you just in the front of the cockpit. They're like, imagine them with the headsets, and all I hear is just disgusting fucking, like, ad bots and shit, and AI. And it's like, yeah, I was gonna write this, do that. I looked up this app, by the way. Then again, this is what all fucking pilots do, isn't it? Apart from like the, when it comes to landing and taking off and checking the aircraft, they're like, yeah, no, that's just chat and shit. But how would you like the new helipads they've added, by the way? Yeah, they're nice. Nice little things. These are generic. It only took a lot of bitching and moaning to the fucking developers, but finally we have helipads. Oh wait, they've got tie-down points. Yeah, they do. Okay, the tie-down points I appreciate. Mm-hmm, so do I. Dolphin, let me out. Yeah, don't let fight Let me out. out. You'll get angry. She already is angry. Look Remember at the what door. You fought the ambulance. It came back to kill you. And that was on you. You created a monster you couldn't control. <laughs> no, we both did. This ambulance. <laughs> I swear to God, no, Thomas. See the way you ran over towards it and just came at you. That's the best skit I've ever done. I've ever recorded so far with like me and you. Apart from like tornado, where you just get wiped off the map by a fucking tow truck. It was just a fact that all I had to do was add in the sound effect of it just, you fucking want some, come on! <laughs> it's, just, it's just yelling England as it comes at you. <laughs> oh my god, I swear to god, I've watched that so many fucking times over and over again now and again, and it still brings me the same fucking joy as when we first filmed it. Fucking glorious. Well, turns you could always do the watch out, watch out, watch out, oh! Soundtrack. Nah, the England one's too good. Like, I can't describe yeah, it. it. Is. It just works too well. Oh, you're getting very skittish there. Are you afraid of the door by any chance? It's not like she tries to me bite you. Me sits down Wait. in the seat. <laughs> looks a dolphin around me. You really like, she doesn't question. bite and just like thinks back in it. Oh wait, hang on. All I heard in my head, but like, you know that music Us. you get in it. Dun, 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 that much fucking like. The fucking, no, I feel like we'd be sitting here and Alison would be sitting here behind us and she'd just lean around and say, she does bite. Like you'd say, oh no, the dolphin doesn't bite and she'd just lean around and say, she does bite. I just, all I did is just like, didn't say that, I just turned around in my chair and just stared her in the eyes. And all she did is looked up from her laptop with her headsets in, looked straight back at me, pulled her headset out and heard what you said about like, showing it but, and she's just gone back to using her laptop. She's, she's developed the lazy way of just like commentating now. She just lets you talk for her and then she just looks back since, you know, you called her a man so she stopped talking to you apparently. Hey, I have it on like she's in like, a tiny sliver agreeing. of my screen. <laughs> you know what my terrible idea is, Lewis? What? 
All right, I've got another crazy idea. You know, actually, what I've been working on. Want to place bets how broken it's going to be when I try and spawn it? Well, I just watched you kill yourself, so yeah, probably. Did you just jump out and die? Yeah. Are you, like, respond or are you still alive-ish? Nah, I survived the fall. Oh, sweet. So can I pick you up or are you just going to OG or something? No, I'm already in the hangout. I'm, I completely survived the fall because who needs damage when you have a lag? That's bullshit. I wanted to fly you into the hangar professionally, like. What? Oh, hey, it's all here. Nice. <laughs> it just repossessed again. <laughs> Star Wars! Look, this is what it's meant to look like. Right here, just land the dolphin. That's my girl. Lights off, power off, systems off, brakes off. I think I should finish on. the frisbee so the dolphin of a friend, like a puppy. Now I'm just gonna shut the door because she, you know, protect her from like all the lightning and horrible shit. Now let me find the picture. You know what's hilarious, all right? Do you know what? And I think I did the dolphin, right? Is I I put an extra like batteries and panels onto her, right, so that she can withstand a, a lightning strike. That's something in this game that doesn't ever affect your aircraft, but yeah, like in real life, things just take like lightning strikes like chance. No, it is, but I swear to God, like, it's, I've only, I've, re, I've over-engineered her for, like, real life, when in real life, the helicopters are engineered like that to protect them against lightning strikes, because if it gets hit by a lightning strike and it isn't protected, like, the helicopter decides to go, hell no, I'm going down. Alright, so you see the picture I sent you? No. Why have you sent me a picture? About now. No. I sent it directly to a DM. Come on. Come on. Yes! Fuck you, boys. <laughs> hey, see that picture? <laughs> I hate how it folds up like that. It looks fucking stupid. <laughs> you know what? Uh, something that I really want is I really want to be able to fold and unfold mid flight. So if you're going to complain, I'm like a toggle option. Fold and unfold <laughs> just uh, folds all the way. It just folds the blades up and just kills us instantly. Alright, also make these hitboxes less dodgy for folding and unfolding. Okay, so you've, you've spawned me a photograph of one of the, like, the models from Thunderbirds. The ones they never used. Meh. Yeah, that's yes. a real thing. Excellent. Okay, so basically, you see like the very brief frame I've outlined here? I'm kind of doing something like that, but if it was blown out to be like a full-size transport, there's going to be three of these engine nacelles, like, at each wingtip. So I've got one at the very front. There's going to be like a destroyer-style bridge behind this, just looking out over this giant propeller. And then they just fold up like this, similar to the Devout. Fair enough. This whole premise is basically the Devout on way too many steroids, like a cyclist. What's with the hatch? Is that just for maintenance and shit? Like... Yeah, I like maintenance. I like to put hatches on stuff. It adds aesthetic detail. Fair enough. At least we're on the same fucking page. That's what I did the dolphin. I've got hatches everywhere. Yeah, so like, this is just a nacelle off the devout, just chonked up, made beefier, strapped, slapped an extra engine in there. And there's going to be two more of these, like, over here on this very brief outline of the wings. Do you know what I just noticed, by the way? Yeah. Do you notice all the refueling stations are missing their hoses, by the way? Just putting that out there. Huh, you do say. <laughs> just... Um, and I was going on about how Stormworks updates fuck everyone over. Here we go. Yeah, hoses are cringe. He needs hoses. I, well, I even have, have their board. own hoses. I, I have. I used to. I, I yeah, I did. I had I had a spare hose on board in the model that the game has broken. That's nice to know. Okay, let's just add one then. But me need to fucking add a hose anyway. Ah, uh, did did did. I could do it through here, couldn't I? I need to just add like a little fucking one of the hatch or some shit, just add a hose onto that. Just add it there. I know I started trying to explain my world to you yesterday, but I have no idea what happened after that. I was too tired. Yeah, I actually had a really good sleep last night. I can't even complain. Like, I woke up to go to work today. My god, I felt good. Oh, nice. Me, I put a fucking pipe in the way. Why am I doing this to myself? Uh, if you don't have space, you can just have two electrical or two hose connectors next to each other. 
then you can just attach it to itself. Mm, it's not a bad call, actually. But I don't. I've got an electrical and a fucking. Um, you just have like a double one up. No, I mean, then, then it'll flap around like fuck. No, I've got I've got space in here. No, remember whenever I build my shit, I always build it like with like tons of fucking gaps and shit, just in case I need to add on stuff. But it's just while I build, when I remove something, I I give it like a thorough check over to make sure I've not like disconnected anything. I mean that's important. And I haven't because I was smart enough to build um, an access panel here with space, so I can do it. It's just because I want I want it stored away in the aircraft, right? But I want it stored away where like it, you know, you don't notice it. It's just something that you. You know it's there, but you don't know it's there. I see that looks much fucking better than that's me. Um, I've got everything else stored away, don't I? And I, I need to check that this one is it's jet fuel. Okay, so I need that to be water. And that's set. Oops. What was the oops? Nothing. Okay then. I would tell you how hard it is to drive a minivan. No. But I'm sure I you do like to. this minivan. It even crawls like an automatic. I really appreciate that. But it, I've been so tempted, right? to add a, like a a gun port so when the door shuts there's like a gun port under there so when the door shut you can't access the guns but when the hell lands you can access the guns I mean and I put like mini SMGs or something there just in case you need them but I've got a rifle in the helicopter thing. Lewis please else. remind me why we would need such firepower um, in case we come across a kraken or a shark threatening our a rescue sure. people so you fire off warning shots like they do in the Grill Coast Guard to tell it to go fuck itself and yeet itself away while you rescue people. The, si no, no. the silence, like, oh yeah, he's right. He's actually giving he's he's giving me a response to a genuine question that genuinely has a proper response to it. Fair enough. Wait, I don't know. I mean, what do I? I don't know if I. Hmm. Do I call it? Yeah, I'll just call it that. Fuck it. See, I don't know. I don't want to call it that because it fucking fucks up again, though. Nah, forget it. Whatever. Uh, what is it? Uh, da da. No, because I, I was just going to call it, like, you know, Upgrade again, but, like, the last one I named Upgrade went fucking potty, so I don't want to just name it Upgrade because it fucks up again. Oh, this might be an idea. The door just went spaz. Oh, that's fine. The door's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, the door isn't going spaz. I like that. Good. Cool. Right, so now I have a hose, and now I can connect the hose to here. You'd like to be towed out. Can you really not fucking connect? Are you fucking me right now? <sighs> Fuck sake, no, man. I will be in a second. You know if you go into the editor, you can place, like, permanent hoses. I know, but I don't need to, because what I'm trying to do is... That's fresh water, okay, good. What I'm trying to do is, is set this thing up so that it's, um... Basically, my idea is, like, so I want to keep, like, a mini water tank on board, and it means, like, see if I was hovering over a ship or a boat or something that's on fire. I could just spray a hose at the side door to fight the fire, and then, you know. But the way I've got the tank, it doesn't, it just doesn't look right. Like, I would need, I would need the connector sort of like hidden out of view, and I think the best way I can do this is with a small bit of like really fucking sketchy ass mirrorhead engineering. And I mean proper like fucking sketchy as fuck. Like, to totally fucking sketchy as fuck kind of engineering, and it's gonna look fucking so sketch, but it'll work. It'll fucking work. Oh my fuck, actually, it might work. It might work perfectly from where I'm looking at it, where it might go. Only to when do something is... Lewis makes actually works. Oh my god! Fuck. So I need that to go like 
like that, but I need like a, I need like a four way. No, I'm basically gonna make a. Can I make a fucking thingy? Do you what, little flame? You might work. Okay, so it's full of water. That comes out of there. Then that goes in. So now that's all watered out and pressurized. How the fuck is that deleted that floor? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck, Stormworks? If you could not, I'd be really appreciative. Lewis, you should know how this works by now. Yeah, I just yell at Stormworks. It does it sorts of shit out. That's how it works. Fucking like delete you apart the floor even though I never ask you to. I'm like no game, go fuck yourself. Start your shape. Right, okay. Let's see. Now I need my sketchy attachment port. Ah, uh, Lewis, crunch. Do I need to bring the panther out? Maybe. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah, panther's coming out. Give me a second. And to think this was actually working really well. But they made a small oversize. That's why I've got the panther. See, because this game doesn't invent windows, even though everybody up asks for that in most updates, and the Stormworks still refuse to do it, all I do now is just dukes a has my way into this fucking panther, even though I have working doors on it. Okay, game, are you, you seriously having this kind of an issue already tonight? Excellent. Did you not like ah, the fact I mentioned Dukes of Hazard? Synced connection. Yay. Are we going to be more calm now, game? You're not going to have a sudden fucking aneurysm as I go through this gap? Yeah, we good? Good. Good to see. We should have seen this crash coming. That's why we had the panther. We always see this shit coming. No, but like, I'll show you what I mean when I say I should have seen this crash coming. Have a bit around this side, a little bit more, up a bit. No, I'm just trying to get the top of the engine though, right here. I'm trying to get this bit because this bit's trying to spread. Your panther is pretty nice. I do like my pencil. I know you like your little <laughs> Just, I, I was a nerd and looked around all the fire trucks with Glasgow Grapple and I thought, that one, I want this one. <laughs> I've seen how it runs around Glasgow Grapple and I thought, that's what I need in a game that's broken. Something that's just as broken. And then I'm just going to give a nice little fucking donut here to make sure I get all the fire out. Hang on. Bonk. No, not bonk. Because now I can, bonk, I can bonk. do this. I turn the water off a second while I'm sorting this shit out. I'm just gonna add more fuel to the fire because that's what normal people do. Of course they fucking do. Are you happy with this fire control yet? Yep. Just need to spin my ass around a second, right about here. And I park here, and I spin my turret around here. And I'm happy. Because now I've got the back of the aircraft completely out. Now I can douse it. 
Now, I'm, I'm following sort of procedure here because that's a jet, right? And what I'm concerned about is the fact that the engines on it, as I was parked very close to it, could ignite and fire off a jet burst like that. So I'm keeping myself well out the fucking way of it. Until it's, you know... Problem here, Lewis. Yes? Do you not like the fact that my water hose can fuck up your engines and keep it away from me? Have you seen the angle the engines are at? I know, I'm pushing them up to keep them out of the way. <laughs> I'm pushing them down. No, this is what they're like as default. Nice. So do you know what my solution is? Um, something even worse than what your what it usually would be. Yeah. There we go. Nice. So just a quick question: How did it catch fire? Uh, smashing into the ceiling because these engines are on the wrong way. If you haven't noticed. Cool. You also didn't notice that you have armaments on board. That's why I stayed away from it as well with the fire engine. I moved all the way over to the back of the hangar Indeed. away from it. Oh, why is it not crashing? Is it going to work this time? Oh, God, no. I feel like I should open the hangar door for you so at least you can, like, fucking bail out if it goes wrong. Whoa. 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 Oh, God, no. Lewis, I fall. I can't <laughs> get up. My panther can get you I'm up, I'm not though. on fire, though. Oh, God. I'm not on fire. Because I sprayed your thing with enough fucking water that it's probably never going to catch fire again. And foam. That's not how it works. You can't preemptively extinguish the fire. Yes, you can. That's why foam was invented. Okay, that's not the point of the joke I'm making. That's why I ruined it for you. Deal with it. <laughs> All right, where are we going now? Are we sleeping? I guess so. I just need to quickly just fix the dolphin. Hang on a minute. I just need to fix the door for the second. I just need to change here a second. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Nothing else deleted? Yeah, fucking damn right, game. Frisbee. There. Oh, Lewis, Frisbee is there. cute. You can't deny the, fris there. the Frisbee is cute. You can't deny it. Slurry. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, apparently there's slurry in this game now. Excellent. What is in this game now? Slurry. I don't know we're in farming sim now. I think it means like mining slurry. Yeah, but still I'm thinking slurry is slurry. Like cow shit. Right. I forgot I could hide this in the fucking wall. Oh, that's an idea. In your walls. Like I generally have pipes connected to this fucking thing. I could just hide it in the fucking wall. Oh my god, I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> Why don't I just hide it in the fucking wall? That works for me. Oh shit, hang on. No, wait, hang on. I can hide it somewhere even more discreet than that. Just out the fucking way. But I have to do this properly. I really want to slap a bigger propeller on the frisbee, but it's just not going to work. Is it not really? Why? Because I want to have it like be able to do full hover mode, but like the larger propeller. It is gonna work, but like it won't look right. It won't look right. Why? What will make it look right? As then it will start like clipping into stuff. You literally can't get out without being decapitated, kind of problem. Really? Really? I didn't know that could happen. So I'm just gonna leave this like a little seaplane boy. Maybe I'll make like a bigger brother that has like full hover capability. Yeah. I do legitimately like this, like the intake mounted up here, the exhaust down there, like the control surface position, like I do legitimately like the way this aircraft has came along, but I did want it to be able to pivot this up into full VTOL mode, and even though this can do it, it just looks dumb. Or alternatively, if you yeah, know that you can whine about to the devs, uh, variable blade, blade length in flight, that is a thing. It is ludicrously expensive, but it is indeed a thing. Yeah, I know, but eh, I'm just giving up shouting at them. I can't go to fuck at this point. Are Lewis, you, you love to yell at them. It's also no, very I'm dark. grown tired. It makes me scared. They have tired me out. I can't be fucked anymore. They just keep fucking things up. No one listens to the community, so I just went, nah, I can't be asked. See, what I've done here is I've put myself in a fucking corner here. I've 
put so much crap behind the, the back wall of the aircraft just for the fuel tank that I don't have a hole to add my thing into now. Ah, uh, yes. I understand the problem. It's just because the way they built, like, hose connectors is so stupid. All I want is, like, a fluid anchor, but one that would sit right. And that won't make any fucking sense, but, you know. See, why can't you just connect the hose to the tank, though? Like, that's... I'm, I'm, I'm asking way too much from this game, apparently. To be able just to put what? a fucking hose. So, you know how you got a tank? You have to add, like, a fluid anchor to a tank for it to add a One hose One second, I just found something. What? Train wheel drive piston. Okay, that's not what I asked for, but whatever. <laughs> Is that a missile fucking top? Lewis, Lewis I found a new toy. What's your new toy? Oh my god, please tell me this thing actually legitimately works. I'm gonna go with no. Just to... Just for fucking shits and giggles. Use a dead space out between the wall, but no. oh, I don't want to use that dead space though. I don't like that. Fuck it. I'm asking way too much in this fucking simpleton of a game. In real life, here's how Where we do, do this. Work? We run up with a hose, we connect it with a coupling to a tank, we then fight the fire. That's how firefighters have been doing it for fucking years. The tank is just on wheels now, it's got a fire engine, a mobile fucking water tank. But this game? Nah, mate, you need a fucking fluid connector to connect to this, to connect this, to connect to this, to fight the fire. Instead of just going click, fucking click and it adapts but no game says no oh my god lewis this actually works look at my new toy what this got a a mini dick chair from like it, Star no Wars. it is exactly what it looks like all i see no you... suspension glitch no hidden motors all I see right now is just... It is just, a crank-powered helicopter. You know that, like, fucking scene in Star Trek with, like, the old guy in the fucking chair? This is all I see right now. Just you, like, floating around the Enterprise, just, like, looking for fucking, like, Picard in it. Picard! Like you. Picard! What are you, Picard? I wonder. I wonder, with the suspension glitch, will this work? No, it's not a suspension glitch. It's just, like, it's a legitimate crank-powered helicopter. They've definitely edited something somewhere. Have they? No. Oh god, this thing is fast. Well, as the Coast Guard once said, ah, he's panic. taking our jobs. Yes. <laughs> it's scared of the gun. I haven't even fired it yet. <laughs> Grab your blue torch and have a go on this thing. It's good fun, Lewis. <laughs> it's just, I just, all I had to do is pull a gun out and it's just like, nah, mate, I'm done. <laughs> Fucking oh shit! It's pissed. Ow! Ah! Oh. Is it just killed? Get it. Here, I'll help you. Hang on. Oh, you've just respawned instead. No, it killed me. Like I did not respawn. Oh, fair enough. No, really, trying to fly this thing. It's so much fun. What the fuck was that? I'll get it warmed up for you. Oh, it was all your shit when you died. That's what it is. It's just a little items just like shat on the ground. Now, like, where the fuck did that come from? So jump in, press one, take over cranking duty. What the fuck? You press one to engage flight mode. Okay, I did. Oh Don't my go. fucking fuck. Yeah, but you have to hold E the whole time though. Yeah, but it's a crank powered helicopter. Appreciate the little things. Not if you have to hold either. This isn't a helicopter, then. It's just fucking suicide torture slavery. 
And now just a machine slave. And yeah, you're right. This thing is actually very easy to fly. Like, think of the number of places we can put it. It's even smaller than a cobra. And it legitimately works. Bonk. And it can take a hit properly, so you could survive. Look, you can survive off touching stuff. Let's try again. I'm going to hit this pillar at full speed. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Oh, God. Yeah, ah! yeah, I think it did. Ah, it's coming for me. <laughs> it wants you dead. It's coming after its creature. Protect me, dolphin. Let's try first person, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, my God. Okay, that, oh, wait, let's do it. Done. <laughs> Meanwhile, in first person... Uh, uh, sky ground, sky ground, sky ground. This shot suddenly going to become sky ground, sky ground, sky ground, sky ground. Wow, Richard Hammond was right. This is fucking intense. Coming, Lewis. Got it's my okay. spear gun. It's okay. I found a way how to solve it. All I do is just stop cranking, and then I flip it, and with a badass music, I can do a disco dancing. Dun, 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 okay, I'm out on board. Die, demon spawn! No damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Still I survived every time. Die, demon spawn! The fucking way it slides away. Like, I didn't do anything. Please let me go. <laughs> Get in the corner, bitch, and stay there. See, I would have to, like, remove the, the crank and make it battery or some shit power, like a, a motor. But yeah, this yeah, but could this could work pretty well. Like, just add a few things onto it, and we have a little like mini helicopter like to float across like zero two or something. Problem onto, like, is, like the hand crank has like stupid ridiculous torque, but it's like low RPS, so you can like slap loads of gearing on. I don't think a motor would work, but I'll give yeah. it a poke. I'll see what I can do. No, even if it just stays hand crank, we could just use it as a little fucking like. I mean. Even if it's just as a joke, right? We just put like three of these on the fucking like zero two somewhere, like in the aft deck, and like see if like we have to abandon ship. We just like float away these fucking things. <laughs> like I take the dolphin that just you and mute just take off, just floating away. Why am I obsessed with crank start vehicles right now? I don't know. I really don't. You've spawned a little bit. Seems to be a shitty looking Russian slash Nazi Germany truck, but yeah, it's fine. Just God, a truck. This thing is fugly. Yeah, you, you spawn a truck from like Nazi Germany, that's what this is. Oh, this thing. So I crank it. I need to like prime the ignition. Yeah, so if it's if it's from Nazi Germany, which I'm gonna bet it is, press the ignition key, hold it in. I've got a handbrake and a so, kill switch. Handbrake, put the handbrake on. You flick yeah. the kill switch on and off. And then Yeah. So Give me some gas, on. Lewis. No, hang on. Let me just look at this. So, where's where's the control? So, so high gear, reverse, thing me heater, park and brake. So, park and brake's on. Kill switch is off. And that's off. Oh, sunroof. Nice. And now, if you hand crank, it should start up. You need to give it a bit, give it a bit of throttle. Now try it. Oh, there we go. See? You, you can't tell as German. I've lived in I think Germany, it's been running this entire time. It's just so quiet. No, we just need to start that properly. That's just how it works. All right, hop in. Let's go for a drive. Yeah, I'm not, get, I'm not getting in the fucking death truck. You can drive it all you want. There you go. Have fun with the death truck. I'll just hide Dark, in the car right. until it drives away. I swear to God, all I see is like, you know, those documentaries about like how Nazi Germany did this and that. All I see is that thing drives away. working. Wait, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Okay, it's got weird arm pumps on the back of it. That's creeping me out. I missed something, it's no worky. So it's got up and down for the throttle, but that's separate from W and S, which is also the throttle. Too sad, motherfucker. Yeah, that's how I do it. I'm just gonna totally not 
casually follow you onto the runway just in case, you know. Oh, there we go. That's how it works. Ah! Where the fuck are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, ah! thank, thank God I got the panther out. I just knew something I would go wrong. I finally worked out how it works. I need to disable starting mode. Right, hang on. Drift into the hangar. Pumps on. Now I get how that thing works. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> just fires out instantly, just like it's done. Wow, I don't, I go, I really don't give this Panther enough credit of like how quickly it can fight fires. You really don't. I don't. Oh, okay, you've. Oh man, that, look at that. That spawning is perfect. <laughs> I'm just gonna get away from the, the psycho truck. Make sure you can see it properly. There you go. I like how this thing drives now. Bro, oh, it's a wee bit unstable, Captain. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna engage speed. I'm just gonna predict the worst and just give you like just follow you down the runway. Do you like how like how NASA's like fucking shuttle gets like you know greeted when it comes in for a landing? Just the fire Whoa. truck's just like crawling down the way after it, just waiting. So no. Um, are you able to stop? Or are you just? Oh, there you go. As I say, because if you were gonna roll towards the water, I was gonna stop you there. Whoa! This thing has a very weird transmission. I'll say that much. <laughs> No wonder. Ah, oh, and he's crunch. rolled it. Right, stay there, stay there. I'll flip you over. I can flip you over. That's why the panther's here. So just stay still a Kill second. Switch. No, why are you revving? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be rescued. You're going to space. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Why did you set it free? Because it's more entertainment to watch you panic, that's why. Where's my little plane that works nicely? Uh, where's the whiny boy? Disable the whiny boy. Oh, oh, keep it together, Captain! Oh, I actually saved that. Where are you? Are you in the hangar? Or are you? Yeah. Oh right. I saw, I saw you driving that direction. I was like, my little friend. Eh, eh. There we go. It's better. Turn that off. Get back in there. So now you've got a Cessna 18 out. Where is the siren on this place? Oh, it's down here by the docks. Yeah. Why do you need the siren? I'm an American. Don't tell me about my imminent doom. I don't want to hear it. It impedes on my freedom. Yet you're English. <laughs> well, that while you're means... busy with the siren, I'm going to shove your aircraft on the runway for you because I'm a polite person. Oi, careful with my little plane. It's small. It's small. And due to budget cuts, this is how Glasgow Airport gets airplanes on the runway now. They use the Panther fire engines to nudge it out. For a machine that costs nearly about like 4.2 million per unit, you need to find another user apart from just fight fires every now and again. Let's face yeah, it. Yeah, well, there is a just liver of logic to that statement. Yeah, exactly. Cost of living is getting a bit mental. Right. I'll spin you in that direction. That way you can start up safely away from the runway, see? Pointing directly towards the hangar. Excellent. Oh, fine. I'll turn you around. This is a cranky boy too, by the way. Here, I'll spin you around towards the fucking runway. This is your bitching. There you go. Now you're facing the runway. You happy now? No? Yeah, well, let's go this door. way then. Let me in the plane, you <laughs> Just steal your fucking plane. <laughs> just steals your plane. It's just you haven't paid the runway tax yet, it just nicks the plane. <laughs> He's uh, ancient. Uh, fucking brake, fuel valve, a little bit of throttle. Just gonna nudge you that way so you're facing the fucking Stop runway. Stop stealing my plane, it's bullying. <laughs> what? You need to face the runway, you keep bitching me, you're not towards the runway. 
It's an Alaskan bush plant anyway, that's what it is. Need me give you a bump start? <laughs> you have infinite fuel on. Oh, no. yeah, that's like, no. doesn't work. No. This, thing, this plane does not work with infinite fuel and infinite electricity on. Well, it's an it problem, isn't it? You can go fuck yourself. Hey, I like it because it uses, like, it doesn't have a battery and it actually makes the most of that because batteries don't survive in the cold. So, start it up then. I can't. You can. I literally can't. Come crank it. It refuses to start with infinite electricity and infinite fuel. Well, then your plane's a bitch, isn't it? Well, my ship looks fine. Watch, give me a bump start. Go on, take off. <laughs> Go on, take off. You're running out of runway. Alright, the throttle is wide open. I'm gonna hide down here, it's much more safer since you're looking. Yeah, if you have 100% fuel, it Chill. means it gives all the cylinders 100% fuel. And that doesn't work because it needs an air fuel ratio. Well then, it's a bitch, isn't it? It doesn't like to work. Though. So is your stuff. No, my stuff works. <laughs> my stuff doesn't fucking complain about it. It should, and it does. I just see you wallowing there, like, oh no, panic, start! Oh wait, it doesn't start up, doom! I think Panther's just enjoying being in like this little rut here. It's, he's like, I'm gonna hide down here because it's safer. I'm away from the psycho plane that doesn't want to work for its master, and it might turn on him in a second. That looks like high tide war. Holy fucking shit, let's get away from that. Fuck <laughs> What I have noticed though, Thomas says, see, since I posted that fucking video of like GTA 5, like part was it four, yeah, of like my car being a fucking mountain goat escaping everything, my Evo, to like escape explosions, all my creations seem to have like learned from that and now have become mountain goats. They just climb over all the terrain to escape. Monk, up there. There's my good panther. Onto the runway now. Come on, up you get. On the runway. I want to wait for an actual rescue to come in and just cruise over slowly in hella boat. We did. There was a fishing boat in distress. Eh, uh, let's go do that then. Okay. I have no idea how far I got last night because brain was not sunk. I really hope I didn't talk you out of it or talk like a fanboy. No. Right, um, just gonna start her up and I'll open the hangar doors. I'll get the hangar door for you. Right. Engine on, throttle on, thing is on, lights on. Camera set up, radar set up. I received a call like a while ago, but I just didn't say anything because you were like wanted to fuck around with your stuff. It's always fun to fuck around with stuff. I was like, I'll just let him have his time, and then fuck over needs help, fuck them. Oh, it's nice and close, I was going to complain about distance, but nah, it's close. Actually, wait, where are we? We're on the, of course we're on the other side of the map. It's less <laughs> close. <than laughs> you already said you're hot with him, so fucking do it. <laughs> I feel like we don't have enough balls. light. Let me try to search like a boss light. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> you hear boy more lights detected. Have I shown you the, like, landing lights on the Sky Slicer? They look like you're going to be abducted by an alien. Because <laughs> I put them around... Like, I connected them to the microcontroller the wrong way around, and I thought it looked so sweet, I had to keep it. I feel like the FAA would have a small problem with that, you know? Like, you come to land at Glasgow Airport, and people think, like, there's a fucking alien invasion happening. I'm going to go get it. If, it. if it works, that is. I'm going to fly over the boat, and I'm going to do my alien abduction lights. <laughs> would you like to fly back to the hangar, then? No, nope, I'll just gonna catch you up. Off. Let's play the Is It Gonna Work game. Lewis, what's your money on? Um, You're going to spawn it and half it's going to be repossessed and I'm going to laugh and chuckle. Dolphin, what do you think? Do you think it's, things going to work? No, 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 no. Okay. Dolphin says no. It's it's wiggling itself left and right to say no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dolphin Dolphin's no. got to... A good point. I really want to know what they've done to break it like this, because... It has responded again, it's not working. It's done what it did last time, but it works fine when I'm working on it. I'm like, this is... This is a particularly high level of jank I'm not familiar with. Okay, why don't you spawn... 
towards me, not like in me and kill me, just spawn in the ocean nearby, and then I'm gonna lower myself onto the ocean. You can just get the dolphin again. I'll just be on the boat in question, and you can legitimately save me. That, that works too, I guess. Okay, dolphin, let's roll. I guess I'll be like a responsible crew and get the fire out before you show up. Fair enough. Uh, rescue four boys. Uh, where do you evacuate people on a ship? Like the front or the back? It depends what's on fire and what's happening. Is there two hospital? There is two hospital boats making their way to your location right now. That's hilarious. Oh, hi, and I'm sorry. There's three of them. <laughs> You're about to get a gang attacked by three hospital boats. It's like the American healthcare system all over again. <laughs> Each one will bill you a different bill, but which one gets to you first to bill you? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be even smarter just to ruin your day. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop at Northwark Harbour and spawn in zero two and just ruin everyone's day. Cause I'll be able to whip down there in zero two faster than the fucking hospital boats can. Alright, I found the boys. And they don't have any fire extinguishers anywhere. Okay, I get why they need us to save them. Yeah. The worst case, if it comes to it right, you can just evacuate into the water with them. That's like a last case resort. But search the boat. What kind of boat is it? A speedboat or something? Yeah, it's like a trawler or something. Oh, shit. Okay, well, search down in the galley and stuff for fire extinguisher. All, all boats nowadays have to carry at least one fire extinguisher. It is a legal requirement. I think the fishermen would want them too, but no, they don't. No, but seriously, search it. Even if even if they don't order them, every new boat that's built, no matter what, is always installed with a fire extinguisher at the minimum. It's always done. Even if it's hidden away in a cupboard or something, it's always done. It's it's a legal requirement, or the Coast Guard will not allow the vessel to be christened and used. Yeah, uh, well, the there's now too much fire. Lewis, help! <laughs> Just get everyone to run into the water with them, quick. Search everyone and get him get him to the rear of the ship and then if it, last case resort put them in the water from the rear of the ship we're gonna do a titanic aren't we so just keep them in the rear of the ship get everyone to the oh, rear of the ship guys which door are we gonna put in the water how many people we got on board five we got four boys four boys yeah, yeah four okay we got all four casualties yeah okay good so i got all the boys are you at the back of the ship with them Yep. Stay on board as long as you can until the fire gets too dangerous, then evacuate ship onto the rear. The reason why you want to go to the back of the ship is if it does do a Titanic, it's naturally going to sink front forward, so that will create a wave pull at the front of the ship, pulling anything down with it. But if you're at the rear of the ship, you can swim away from it and the pull isn't pull enough. It doesn't pull you far enough. Like, how close or far do you need to be to get sucked down? Like, um five meters so like you're stretching your arm out and then you can eat yeah just even stretching your arm out it's kind of two meters suck, but it's any very short range if it's like speed boats and small vessels will not you know really bother you it's trawler ships like that if it's carrying cages and very heavy equipment and it's still a big mass of itself then it will definitely create a wake that will pull you down with it so you need to keep at least like five meters away from you in it Right, zero two, come on, spawn in, baby. We have an emergency that really does need an emergency-ing. Which one of you snorted the fire extinguisher? I really need it right now. <laughs> it's one of the guys, just me. I said it was a powder extinguisher, okay. <laughs> just, you just hear, like, the, the metal cock, it just, like, brong, running, like, rolling across the deck of the ship as <laughs> he just discards it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, the chunk. Here we go. Now we know it's real. You got four warnings and the good news, the fire has slowed. Bad news, reality <laughs> See, has slowed. See, Zero helping without even being on scene already. You know they're coming to help us when reality itself slows to a crawl. <laughs> well, I mean, Zero Two technically is an alien that can slow time, so... I mean, why wouldn't she? Yeah, but still, so what random nonsense did, did I get up to last night? Um, I... you were... Babbling on about, I say babbling on, like, I was listening to you, trust me, I was listening. But you were talking about, like, your, you know, zombie apocalypse style, like, survival thing you are going to do about having, like, a guy in, like, a weapons room or something with zombies outside, and then he, like, pressed the button to, like, count down a nuke and some shit. 
Oh, I think I know what you're going on about. Yeah, see, I how did long listen. did they go on about? How long did they go on about? How long did... Come on, words. You went on for hours. And I mean, I, I'm a true friend who actually does listen. This is this is why I gained so many good grades when I came to school. I could sit in any class, play with my phone, play with like rubbers I've dressed up to make a little miniature fire engine stuff, you know, just fidget like fun. Oh, and I would retain every single piece of information that I'm told, even even though like it looks like I'm not even fucking listening in the first place. It's fucking joyful. Maybe I should become a guidance counselor or some <laughs> guidance counselor or some shit, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm therapist. surprised I told you about like the zombie apocalypse stuff because that's only meant to be a, like a sliver. It's literally one bad dream. That's all there is to it. Yeah, but still, I told you. Like, tell me what you want to do. Is this your cue for me to keep babbling? It's up to you. Cause... I'm just sorting shit out. <laughs> so what do you remember from last time? That's the easiest way to do it. Everything. You talked about everything you were going to do, and then you were going about you wanted to write it and stuff. So you don't need to tell me. I already know it all. But if you have anything you want to change... Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know what happened last night because I was too tired. No, for real. Like, you really don't remember? Well, like, I know I went on about my stuff, but I don't know how much or how much sense it made. Fine by me. And fuck you, game. I'm not accepting the fact that my guy could float through the fucking tires and shit. You should better stand on that shit. Thunk. Me picks up the phone. Uh, like, we ordered like a rescue a while ago. Like, that gonna happen? It's like that fucking lifeline advert in it. Like, just the phone picks up. It's like, help! Just, <laughs> just the phone just goes down instantly. <laughs> just the guys around. It's like, is rescue coming? He just like looks up at them on the phone. Like, all you hear is, I don't know. Like the Coast Guard just look at the map and watch the ships like just drifted outside like the US territory. It's just the phone goes clunk. <laughs> they just don't respond now. Can you imagine if we were that literal in it? Can you imagine if Americans were that literal? Like the, the boat, like the helicopter's like racing to the rescue, right? And the boat just drifts outside like the US territory into like Cuban airspace or some shit. I mean, and you just see the helicopter's like hovering like 20 meters away from the boat. And they're like waving her arms. Like, Please save us! Sweet. Got a sweet screenshot. Like, hey guys, yeah, we're dying horribly, but I got a sweet screenshot of this sh of this amazing helicopter that's just staring us down from like the border of America. Me and the guys are just like paddling at the side of the ship, trying to like bring it back into the the U.S. fucking space thing and rescued in it. I love Zero Two. See, this is one thing though, right? I'll give them credit. Like, the one thing they have fixed though, right? In the update, which th I, you know, I am kind of glad, is yes, the game is kind of laggy when I have zero two, which they said they're still fixing. They are trying to fix that stuff. Kind still. of. But the minute I move her out of the of. shoreline, it's not laggy. Is that a shark? Lewis, we have a shark circling the boat. Oh, sweet. Yeah, see, now, now you know why I have guns on the helicopter and on zero two. Do you see now why? Sharks are dicks. They will just circle. Is the boat still on fire as well, by the way? Uh, very much on fire. It's much more on fire since last time. Yeah, but as long as everyone stays on board safely, you'll be alright. Well, we won't freeze to death. For now. Yep. But once I get Zero Two out of port, I'll be there in two minutes. Oh, I see, like, that the moon or the sun coming up over there. Right, helicopter's on deck. I'm now leaving port. So much good silhouette work here. <laughs> just a shark circling, just like you just throw a camera at it. Can you film us? Just, just like thumbs its nose up and down, just like circles the ship really quickly. It's like, is this, is it filming us? All I right. No so idea. did I mention the ZUF? The enemies that are a part of the other enemies that are trying to fight in like a tree, some to kill everybody. Nah, that's the warm war. Okay, so maybe not then. That is water. The boat is very much going down. Oh no. But the water, like, so the rear deck is slowly slipping below the water line, and that's kind of putting out the fire. And my footsie's being burnt into the water, boys. I have officially left the boat.
So I don't think you're uh, I guess we can correct paddle time. a bit away from the boat. No, it should. Like, yeah, I was going to say. I mean, hopefully it doesn't sink all the way. If it's a trawler that size, it might still have enough momentum where it just fucking bobs. So you can just stay on the bobbing bit for safety out of the way of the shark. Need to fold the rotors away. Yeah, that's no longer an option. Okay, then. What you tell me is you're screwed. <laughs> Come on, zero two. Up oh, we go. So, did I, so yes or no? Did I mention the ZUF? Probably not, because I don't remember you mentioning stuff like that. Okay. Uh, try and make this simple. Okay. So take like. So you know, like at a security agency. Yes. Yeah, well, mix in somewhere between the KGB and the CIA. And the secret police from Germany, like Nazis time. Nah, that was more like, that had a fuck, like the Stasi was... I thought you were about to say that had a more very, fucked up vibe uh, to it. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of yes, but actually no, because like the Stasi were incredibly specific. Like they had one mission to basically control the Soviet bit of Berlin and contain the non-Soviet bit of Berlin. So, oh damn, I'm getting so many great pictures. This is such a great screenshot opportunity. I've got the silhouette, the burning boat, the sun coming up over the horizon. This is really good screenshot stuff. I feel like I feel like I'm listening to a phone call. You know, like Nikosko are tapped into the 999 call during the call center while they're taking a phone call. I feel like I've just tapped into it and it's like I'm listening to like a bunch of grad students on a sinking boat in it. Just like, even though their the ship is sinking and they're going to die, they're just sort of like, wow, we're getting so many good photos here for Instagram. Hashtag not going to make it. <laughs> This is going to be a close yeah, that clutch, be grad boys. Students. That would be dropouts. <laughs> Can't wait to drop out of life like I dropped out of college. Uh! <laughs> just, the, just the Instagram picture, just the boat sinking in flames and the guy like with a shark fin behind them in the water. Yeah, well, so the centerpiece, so like there are the two main like story. You could, they could basically exist in different worlds if they wanted to, but they're in the same world because it just about lines up. Okay. So you got the dedicated, the island, the household, all of that nonsense. Pile B, and the ZUF is pile A, which is kind of if so you know like the DEA just does like drugs and the organized crime related to drugs. Yeah. Okay, so imagine if you expanded that out to just like handle more organized crime stuff, gave them a really big budget. And then the problem is they kind of like, they've already hunted down all the crime. So they're just kicking around this semi-futuristic city. So what you're mentioning is Homeland Security. Kind of. <laughs> Take that Homeland. But the specific point <laughs> is like, they... <laughs> no, but like the specific point is like, they've done like a really hard and a really harrowing job for, for a good few, for however many years at this point. So they've kind of ratted out all the organized crime that, this point yeah so they're kind of without a purpose and they're still hugely overfunded because does that make you? sense the sea is getting just a wee bit choppy just saying it's fine zero two's finally lifted her nose at the war she's doing her hydrofoil trick that's just zero two like the ripples coming all the way yeah <laughs> <laughs> just there's these large waves coming. They're just like, oh my god, what's happening next? Just you're looking up. It's okay, boys. Like with the phone in your hand, it's like it's okay, boys. That's the rescue ship coming. They're just the guy looks back at you. What fucking size is it? Just what you hear in the background in the fog, and it. He just looks the phone over. That. <laughs> so yeah. All right, so I'm not entirely sure whose point of view I want to set these around. So I, I wanted to set it around the child of high-ranking members of said. So like you have, you're like, so the point is you see it as kind of an external point of view, seeing what they're thinking and what they're doing, because obviously they would be influenced by their position within the society kind of looking up to their parents. 
and you see like the contrasts of what like they consider like oh yeah that's fine and oh no that is not fun does yeah. that make sense and then there's a small incident which basically leads to quite a lot of death quite a lot of controversy and basically the organization collapses in on itself yeah so now you have all these different resources suddenly crumbling away and organized crime really like oh like these guys like they've like died like we can just get back to where business they left now. The organized crime, I mean. yeah okay i've got you so like even though like if the fancy skyscraper like their citywide presence has gone the organization as a whole has kind of like restarted itself from grassroots like well, that was a complete mess up. We hired way too many people. We had way too many fun toys. And we, yeah, it worked. We scared off organized crime, but we were way too expensive. That meant all the other services got underfunded. And now we we've just disappeared for one second. All the organized crime literally came back in. Does that make sense? Yeah. As far as what their society is, it's pretty much what we would consider normal. And not like American normal, like European normal. I wish to emphasize that. Hmm. Strong socialist overtones in this society. Because I don't want to make another generic super capitalist universe, like socialism. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes. Like that's like socialism. the basic premise outlined i can't really make it make more sense until you like ask questions of it yeah but still so basically the zqf is where i have like the more philosophical and political like arguments and plot lines and then the dedicated is where we have like all the more fighty and the shooty and even more philosophy yeah there's kind of too much philosophy in my stuff because I like philosophy. Yep. So, for instance, one event that the ZUF have to put up with is one of their test flights. Flights went a little bit wrong. Okay, so we're on SpaceX now. Nah, not SpaceX. Like, no, but like you regular. just said like one of their, their flights went slightly wrong. I don't get where this joke's going. Did that, is that what they say about SpaceX? Yeah, whenever like something just detonates, you just go, oh, well, that went slightly wrong. It's okay, Elon Musk definitely Rapid, detonated that. Rapid, unplanned disassembly. Back. Yeah, we just quick built, disassembled it, just so we can put it back to storage faster. Unprecedented rapid re... Entry. Um, no, what was it? Rapid, DOE. unplanned disassembly, that's it. So, like, one of the social issues that happens is, so, you know, like, uncontacted tribes are, like, a fairly important thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, what happens if, like, a plane crashes onto one? Then... They're contacted, then. <laughs> yeah, but, like, they're literally the last one left in the entire world at this point. I don't get it. The point is, it's just meant to add more, like, a social pressure, like... Like, why are you even doing this? Why do you have an, your own little pocket air force? Or why do you have, like, all these overpriced vehicles? It's kind of like a state, dare I call it, a statement against overspending on police forces. Like, yeah, well, you want to keep going this way? This is where it's going to end up. But, like, it's fun. We have all these toys that can do fun things, like the scuttle system. It's like, but do we need it, though? That is the question. Do we need it? Because it's very fun to write. One thing you will notice between both sides is they both like their fancy technology. Almost to the point, it almost sounds like I'm describing the same faction twice. They have fancy technology, they have a pocket air force, they have loads of fancy ground vehicles, they have they use recognisable brand imagery, and they try to justify their existence to everyone else. Oh, help, I've written the same thing twice. 
as you were saying that, I did a 360 around zero two, and just you're going, they have very like dynamics, blah blah blah, and this that, and they just like have really mental brand recognition. I was like scrolling past like fucking zero two is like fucking like you know brand on the side of the ship. Just yep, definitely has brand recognition <laughs> to let everybody know what it is. It's a badass ship, and she's a mean bitch. When I just think about that, right? I called this shit earlier though, innit? Because I've basically built all my creations based on like anime girls you see in like anime like Oh yeah, movies. I know. Because they're all very protective of me. Anyone else comes close, they just a murder use. And it's true. Like, let's face it, if I had a count here, the dolphin, she has murdered you, Thomas, at least eight times. Like, by not deliberate, if you know what I mean, actions. If that makes any sense. I know Zero Two has murdered you like fucking sixteen. She's murdered Mew, like, 20-plus. She killed Adam I didn't get four times. the boat because we floated itself. It was more sunk, and now it's less sunk. Because now the fire's been put out, the carbon dioxide gas and stuff have probably built up in the hull, so it's going to cause it to bob. That's what we call a bobbing effect. Oh, really? Yes, so that's why we tell people. See if it's a large enough vessel. There's a lot of crevices where air pockets can get trapped and where fire will spread carbon dioxide to fill the boat. And since carbon dioxide is lighter than air by a small margin. That's how you always get like so much black smoke hovering inside buildings during fires and you always stay low to the ground. Um, it can cause some ships to bob back up. If the, the hull hasn't been damaged enough to sink it fully, it can bob back up, which is why we always tell you. And think about all the stuff on board has been burned into like ash now and it's so much lighter now. So we tell people like to swim to yes, the ocean. Yes, the doesn't do any of that. Well, apparently it does. So we tell people to swim to the ocean, and then if it becomes safe enough, try and reboard the vessel. But make sure the hull isn't like warm enough; or it's going to burn you. I mean, try and like reboard the vessel and just stay on the hull until like rescue ships arrive, because you want to stay out of the water as long as possible. One second, I count three boys. Where's the fourth boy? Better find his ass. <laughs> because I'm about I to... legitimately don't know where the fourth boy is. We'll find his ass. He might be under the boat. Check, he hasn't gone under the boat. I'm about to cross under a bridge at 104 miles an hour, by the way. Just showing you my balls here with this with zero two. The same ship that remember when she would collide with every fucking bridge in this game until they added these bridges that I bitched at them to add. Is there a second bridge there? Oh, the fuck is as well. I didn't even notice that. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, did I? I did notice that. Yeah, I did. And it was Lewis, that's why it was leave the point. boat on autopilot and get me a defibrillator over here. Why? Is the other boy gone under the boat? He's been thoroughly cooked. How bad is he? As in, like, time-wise. You're looking at three minutes. Well, you know how to do this. <laughs> Towards you. Yep. Quick, just do it. <laughs> I'm swimming. Dun, dun, dun. Up by I'm swimming. Oh, there you are, okay. I love, I love how basically, right, there's like three medical ships basically just circling you right now, but none of them want to come near you because I'm coming into the area. They're just like, fuck that, let Zero Two go in. She's, she's a mean bitch. Like, they're all just like, <laughs> you know, like, see that family guy in it where like the fire truck like kills a deer and the ambulance come around and you just, hur, hur, and they'll just back off. The ambulances will have to wait their turn. <laughs> just, the hospital ships will have to wait their turn while Zero Two, the firefighting boat, goes in. How is he still now? Three minutes or what? I need you here, sped boy. So why don't you just do what you said? You're the one that tell her first, teleport to me and get one and teleport back. Say the word and I'll, I'll do I'll make zero two do an emergency stop. Alright boy. Right, ready? Three two one emergency stop. 
Yeah. Teleport. Closer. No. Closer. No. Closer. No. Closer. No. Closer. I'm just colliding at this point. That's not an emergency stop. You're still very much moving. I'm not. Just, just. Come on. Wait, what the fuck? How did you get back there? Okay. Come on. Get on. And I'm getting to the bridge. There's a defib right behind me in the bridge. Defibrillator. Yeah. Wait, you're inside. Oh, good. There's one right there in that medical cabinet right there. I know. I see. No, no. The medical cabinet. Straight ahead to the double door, to the door, into the there. Look on the on the dinghy, on the dinghy. There's one on the dinghy, right behind the bridge. Oh, excellent. <laughs> now go, <laughs> be gone like Star Trek. <laughs> Just... <laughs> well, there was that time some Vulcans used a like a laser to save some miners. Yeah. Now Zero Two is airborne to get back to the emergency in time. All right, I'm going to just defibrillate one of you. That means I'm going to defibrillate all of you. Stand by. I love Zero Two's party trick, it's fucking great. She just glides to the rescue. Me. Wonders <laughs> how much faster this all would have been if I just stayed flew. on Zero Two. <laughs> how is the boat so much less on fire than it was when I left? Did the fire despawn in my absence? No, because the water is put out bit by bit. But it, you, Zero Two's just so happy to be back out. She's doing her dolphin trick, which is just dolphins in and out of the war. It's fucking hilarious to me. I love it so much. She's doing a fucking dolphin impression. Alright, Zero Two, you're gonna settle down. We need to get to the emergency properly. Come on, girl, settle down. That's a good I prefer girl. my tiny little hydrofoil. I prefer Zero Two. She you looks like badass. You like my tiny hydrofoil? I know, but I prefer Zero Two. She looks badass. Okay, she's settled down now, she's calmed down, she knows, like, we need to help people. What the hell is that in distance? Why aren't these hospital boats being useful? <laughs> Just teleports over to one. Like, come on, help me! Oh, it appears another Tug's responding to your emergency aid call as well, apparently. There seems to be a Tug coming to your location what as well. What do you mean, Tugs? There's a Tug, like, right next to me coming to the location. If I were you, I'd go back to the boat. Oh, there was like a bad news. Let me guess, the hospital boat was sunk. Am I right? All three of them. What, for real? Yeah. How the fuck? All three are sunk. How are they this useless? I'm sorry, but have, has, have they just become like inept at this point? Or they just sink? How the fuck have they sunk though? I need to know. I mean, there's no way to refloat really them, is there? I mean, are they are they no, there? Like they're not there. Yeah, so like the symbols there, but they're not there. Nice. Maybe they're killed by a kraken or some shit. I mean, it does happen. Hmm. There'd be a body though. No, they just despawn. Like they've made it now in Stormwatch, but like stuff it gets destroyed enough, it just despawns now. It's really fucking stupid. Use the AI would just sink plane. and float them. Your assistant. So now we know why they haven't come to your aid then. They're dead. <laughs> they probably couldn't hack it. They died. I thought this was glitched out, but this might be intentional at this point. What? What? Why are you just hovering? You confuse and scare me in equal mesh. Where are you? Thomas, where are you? What are you doing? Doing something. 
Oh, there you are. You're on this island. Okay, and you're doing what? I am doing nothing. <laughs> well, I'm about to get to the, the boat where these people need help. I see it. It's up ahead. Oh, it's still on fire as well. Oh, and I see someone's ABS systems have kicked in. They're in the war. Okay, so they're there. Why is the dolphin just hovering like 20 feet behind the actual boat? Because this game doesn't like to do shit. Let's just face it. Yeah, you're cruising pretty smooth. And I appreciate it when a boat cruises smooth. Yeah, that better. <laughs> right, do you want to go run downstairs to the middle deck, then open up the side panels, and you can just grab the people on board? Yeah, that's what I'm up to. So I'm going to go to the left side. I'm going to bring Zero Two in onto the left side of them. So open up the side door on the left. You should be able just to pull them on board. Ah, your entire boat is made out of ice. I told you to stop making your floors out of it. What? It makes faster. You can't cause them more injuries to charge them more. You're not the US health <laughs> Okay, so now I've got them right up against the ladder. So go through the bulkhead door, open up the side door on your left, on your right side where you've run in. On your right side. Your right side. That's it. Perfect. Right, open that door up and they're right there at the, at the fucking gantry when it opens up. They'll be Excellent. on your right side. I've just moved, I've turned the propellers off on the ship just so there's no risk of them getting sucked under. So I'm just going to glide up and you can grab them, okay? Hey. Um. Got my little one block shuffle passage. You don't need it, you can just stand on the bridge and grab them. See, there you go. And you notice, notice I built a ladder system. Look, I can bring up a ladder system for you. Which ladder? Right there. On that side. Oh, this guy. So, what I'll do is I'll move forward a bit and I'll be at the ladder then for you. There you go. While you're doing that, I'm going to fight the fire. Kind of looks like half that boat has collapsed, but there used to be like cranes and stuff on that boat, I would assume. So obviously half it's collapsed. Nah, that's what it looks like. Wow, okay, so it's a, it's not a crab boat then, it's a fucking, like, a shellfish boat or some shit then. Or a tuna boat. Tuna's tasty, no complaining. I know, right? And out be flame grill, let's stave some. <laughs> let's raid this ship, we'll bring it on board. A whole boat? Oh, yeah. So four boys? Nice. Okay, we'll just get him to the infirmary then. Dr. Thomas. Why are your ladders so hard to climb? That's so <laughs> now you know how I feel when I use your shit. It's impossible, but yet I can use it perfectly. My stuff is small and efficient, except when it's huge, gormless, and overgrown. Yeah. I'm missing a guy. No, you have four there. I see four. Where's the fourth guy? Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move on to the infirmary for you, just so you know they're all there. Yeah, you should do that. <laughs> Just take as many as you can and get them to follow you through the ship, and I'll grab the last guy you can't find. Okay, you've, oh, so you can't find this guy here. Okay, I've got you. I've got him. There we go. Everyone's good. What's the guy in the white? He's like, where the fuck were you? I'm like, I was responding. Oh, okay. Well, it takes a long time to get a boat to someone, so they can't entirely complain if we took a helicopter or a plane, it would have been much faster, but the first time we can run straight to that world. Yes, but the emergency called for a boat since they have a fishing vessel that's on fire. And you said you had sharks circling it, so I need something big to tell a shark to fuck itself. Something very. Yeah, but sharks fine. can't fly, my lawyer says. Yeah, but sharks can also pose a danger, so. We just bring something in that has everything on board, like Zero Two. She has C4 and grenades and all that sort of fun crap that just tells the They're shark. They're not dolphins. Away. You don't need C4. <laughs> you never hurt a dolphin. Dolphins are friendly. You know what they say, dolphins are coming. 
I think I named my health. Secondly, dog. you know your mailbox is conspiring against you. I don't know. I don't have a mailbox. Exactly. <laughs> you had one. It disappeared, and you didn't even notice. No, I have it's a mail slot. It's this sort of neglect and mailbox society that has driven them to extreme action. How much harm can my post box do? Your post box can sign you up to all manner of terrible subscriptions. You'll never be able to walk outside your front door like without Netflix. being ambushed. I was gonna go like the Scientology route, like just when you sign people up for Scientology stuff, so that bugs. Yeah, but at least the end Scientology you can like get away from it though. Netflix they keep emailing you, come back. <laughs> Are you really telling me that Netflix is is worse than Scientology? Oh yeah, listen, Scientology give you what like give you an idea that they want you to listen to. You don't listen to it; they just give up telling you and let you be. Netflix. But they literally don't. They're a cult. That's what they do. Yes, but they can only cult for long enough until like you get rid of them. That's the rule. I'm gonna put my clothes back. Just stands in the fire, puts clothes back. All right, I'm done. God, this fucking bow is fucked. By the way. I am aware of that. Like, it's fucked fucked. Like, how the fuck? I want to go watch my YouTube video. Let me hear when we return back to shore. <laughs> yes, every doctor on board, like, a, a naval vessel in it. Just immediately switches on YouTube and just starts watching while, like, you know, the captain's dealing with the shit now. It's like, well, I don't need to do anything now. I've got my patient stabilized. Better just watch some shit. Who's a little ladder drone? You're a little ladder drone. Enjoy your lucky multiple physical body existence while you can. I like your drone, Lewis. Feels like little pedestal I built from them. How we've come so far from a little magnet that just sat like a little fucking pedestal like on display. Now he's actually got a little fucking like thing that lifts him up. Professionalize and shit. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, I want to use my tiny boat. Uh, so I want to use my tiny boat. You dug your grave and you decided to spawn on this fucking boat with these people. <laughs> Why don't you jump on the top deck where the drone is and like use the wee fire turret then? Yeah, I got. Oh, there's an interesting video. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna go sit down. Well, can you can you at least go up on the top deck and turn the top monitor? Off me. Okay, I'll go Do that for me at least, then that's us. We'll bail. Because the main fire in this boat is out now. The rest is like in the hull burning, but the boat's probably going to sink in a second, so we'll just let it scuttle itself and then we'll bail. I'm going to switch off the main turret at the front. Don't need him anymore. Alright, let's head back to. I mean, we can't go to the hospital. The fire boats, is out dead. on my screen. Are you sure all the hospital boats are dead? Quite. Okay, I'm gonna go investigate one and at least see if, you know, maybe it's not dead. I feel like you haven't turned it off yet. Have you pressed the button yet? You keep moving the board. <laughs> oh, it's like resets. Yeah, it resets. Yeah, pretty nice. Right, you jump back in the bridge, and I've left the door on the right side open for you, so you can climb up the, the right side of the ladder. I'm just slowing uh, down. Oh no. Uh, panic, 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 uh, panic. a man overboard. Emergency stop. There you go. I swung the ladder towards you. Quick, swim to the ladder. You're also swinging the propellers towards me. I've stopped the propellers. Don't worry, they're not moving. They are moving. They are not moving the speed that could kill you. They're they're gliding. Yeah. That's what emergency right. stops are for. They're only pro spinning they're spinning with the the current of the war and not fully powered yeah 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 god it's like me with my legs being tired it's like what's it like to climb back on board a ship after getting the, the wind knocked right the fuck out of you after falling off the ship uh, uh, fuck I love how these doors open at different speeds. <laughs> it makes it more dramatic, doesn't it? 
You'd be like, why? Because I like dramatic. Leave me alone. But why do they open at different speeds? They're randomized. Because I like to be dramatic. <laughs> it's called lag, Lewis. No, it's called I'm dramatic. Leave me alone. Is there a way you can actually modify the opening speed? Kind of, but it's it, you have to like kind of glitch it. And we're off. <laughs> I am seated. We are indeed off. Full power! Speed and power. See, I can't just like take off the way I usually would. I, I'm, I'm genuinely having to fucking do this properly. Because if I take off at full speed, then I risk hurting the patients. So I have to do it slowly, and then let her pick up her speed, and then we're off. There you go, how graceful was that? Oh yeah, did you uh, have you got down to your uh, your quarters yet? By the way. Ooh, I have quarters. Yes. Yeah, so oh, you go looky looky. When you go downstairs, your quarters are on the left side. Ooh. So down two floors. Well, no, down one floor. Yes, you're down one floor. Your quarters, and you're in room number two. Is it an even more eye-watering shade of blue? <laughs> no, it's even worse. It's your favorite color, trust me. No, you're done too many. You're done too far. Hey, I've gone too far. You've gone too far. You're just down one deck. All right, so like the hangar deck? No, here. Keep going. Aye, the hangar deck, yes. Yeah, oh, forward. Oh, I get a premium cabin. Then you're in number two. Ooh, I thought Mute would get this privilege. Yeah, he does when he's on board, but he's not on board. So now it's oh, yeah, it's purple. Yeah, mm. enjoy your purpleness. Oh, this is a nice picture. Is that actually zero two? That's the dolphin. Uh, oh, you got a legitimate dolphin picture. All right, yeah, right. Board. what have I got on my computer? You can play Stoneworks. <laughs> now you can work in your research while you're at sea. You can watch YouTube, you know. <laughs> oh, my God, it actually has, like, the YouTube and Stoneworks tab. <laughs> Let Stoneworks load. It has a proper game on it. Wait, let it load? I am letting it load now. <laughs> I worked hard for this shit. Remember that Remember that wonderful video where we were discussing about how people put video games inside video games and you were like discussing how code works and I uploaded that Jeremy Clarkson clip of him just going, what kind of nerd would find those interesting? This is what kind of nerd finds this shit interesting me. Oh my god, it Programming actually... this shit. Now it's very basic because obviously it's, it's a program running in Stormworks so I can't ruin Stormworks because it's Stormworks. But here, you, you can grid out designs and shit if you want. How does this... what? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna see they didn't add a sound effect they didn't add a sound effect block in this game because if they did I would have added that fucking sound effect from our fucking Christmas special where as the menu loads up it just goes I'm Mary Poppins yo every fucking time it just things to make you feel more homely Okay, we're coming up on the location of the first medical boat that's apparently still alive. The other one's despawned. And it would appear this one isn't here either. It's Yeah, you're right, Thomas. It is dead. Okay, nice. Alright, okay then. I guess take these fucking people up to the main hospital then. You've gone silent, like you're actually genuinely trying to look at how shit works in this. Oh my god, every button I press opens up so many- He has discovered the internet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Doodle. I couldn't say Google because it's copyrighted, apparently. <laughs> Welcome to Doodle. It's funny because you have to say Doodle. Welcome to Doodle. Welcome to C-Tube. You know, because like copyright is shit, so copyright leads to minus YouTube. Because fuck YouTube, so it's it's C. Welcome to C minus. 
you know, like every person's ever experienced in their fucking math question. I am legitimately amazed. Like, who, <laughs> like, you... I, I thank you. I did try, my friend. Like, am I, like... I assume you got someone to help you with this. Oh yeah, you have no idea. I did. Yes, I had. I had a very good friend help me with this. Cause fucking fucking yeah. Trust me, my friend gets all the fucking credit. He did all of this shit. I just finipped it a bit. It's just as if your characters like just sit there in amazement, like, oh my god, a computer on board a ship works. The fuck. But it... You got a hidden camera in here towards me. <laughs> No! <laughs> Why do I not believe that statement? It's no. <laughs> I feel like that's something you would do, though. I'm just on the bridge, just watching you through the fucking, like, computer. <laughs> like, I it and plug it back in. It's a nightmare of an IT guy. <laughs> yeah, once you plug it, you fucked it. That's just saying that. Ah, oh, it's fine. I've seen worse cable management. See, while you're amazed at that, by the way, I'm just gonna say, by the way, um, have you, did you look at the medical beds, by the way? Because I've upgraded the medical beds. No, yeah, just the med beds. With the little blinkies and the heart monitors and shit. What's this one, though? What? Let me see. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. What was this one? Oh, this is, um, there you go. It's, um, our anime. Don't you like it? <laughs> you, you like- I mean, come on, let's face it. I'm gonna add anime to everything I do, don't I? Come on. You've gotta give me credit. <laughs> I lack words. <laughs> Works in Storm work. What's this called on the workshop? Just, this is on the workshop, right? Yeah, my mate uploaded it. He up, it's his shit. Just yeah, what's type it PC, and you'll find it. Strong work and strong work. No, but see where you're doing that. I just want you to quickly just see where your quarters. Go uh, one deck below them where the vending machines and stuff are, and I want you to go into the kitchen. You'll be blown away with the stuff I've added in the kitchen, by the way. Like, ah, uh, yay, more lag things that we want to Zero Two has had a very big <laughs> refit. She's been renovated like no end. And then there's me and my tiny boat that barely has any space to boogie, but exactly. I like it because it's less laggy. I noticed your vending machines. They're pretty nice. Yes, but that's not the important part. Go into the kitchen. You notice some new necessities added to the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got oven. Oh, yeah. Cooking. We got vitro ceramic bulb. How's that pronounced? <laughs> and then look to your right with the microwave is. Look to, oh, the yeah, right. you got a microwave. Look to the right of it. Secret spot. Secret spot of the microwave. Look at the right side. The right side. Look at the right side of the microwave. There you go. Look, you can cook shit. <laughs> All I see is just some eyes and a face <laughs> on fire. <laughs> <laughs> now, look at that. Look at that face. Does it not remind you, remember when Mute sort of like disappeared into the flames when he crashed that fucking helicopter? This is the definition of, ah, I need a medic bag. Yeah, I kind of maybe edited the, f the, the video of when he died in the fire. It was hilarious for me and you just laughing at him and, and made it into a fucking microwave image, because why wouldn't I? I'm what is the actual resolution of these screens? I can actually just count the pixels. It's, it's like easier. One fucking ping or some shit. Oh my god, let me get two button. Ah! <laughs> you the ship turns the corner and you just turn into paste against the wall. This isn't a spaceship with like super high G forces. I just had to, I had to give you the experience of working on a proper ship when you're in the kitchen. Just no gravity, the fucking. <laughs> just I've slide seen the video the of place. that guy who works on a trawler or something. The yeah, that's the guy. You've seen what I'm on about. <laughs> he just jumps and ends up airborne and hits the fucking ceiling. Fun, but it must really be good. such a pain after a point. Oh no, I'd love that. See, I was on a fucking ship, my god. Do you know how much I'd enjoy doing that? I would slide around everywhere. Like, I would, I would fucking do that. 
And I'm like kind of nonce that could spend months on ships just eating like the odd bits of foods and snacks. The things that I could do with one hand. So even though I get like tossed around, I just like eat while I get thrown around. Mr. Samuel Streamer, where are you? Do you watch this stuff? <laughs> He just replies, maybe. But have you, um, have you, uh, seen the other little improvements I've done? Which one? There are a lot. I know there's a lot. It's fucking grand, isn't it? Right, come down here. I'll show you. I've become slightly obsessed with Star Trek recently, like the next generation again, because slightly I slightly obsessed. Join the club. <laughs> so I um I may have made the Star Trek's computer board thing a little more like in L -car, depth, like an L car display. Well, you can't call that an L car display. Yeah, I can look. It's got a smiley face in it. <laughs> Met. A starship computer, like they do not want to be there with all the strange stuff they go through. It just smiles at you, just like, I'm sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> You're gonna die in five seconds. So come back here and you'll see. Look what I've done with the um the AirPod. Look what I've made. It's slightly sketchy, but it works. I've taken the idea of mm -hmm. how like Scottish divers deal with like fucking like, you know, recoveries and shit. So we open up the airlock. Now, also, you see how I've designed this airlock. Look, it will not open if this door is opened. You were saying? Yeah, look. So, see see if I were to shut this door, right? So, if I open this door up here and I left it open, okay? Now, this could flood the ship if this bailed out. Like, fuck, you know what I mean? So, if you open yeah, this up... no, it's still very much open. No, nope, watch, look. Jams. So, it can't let as much water in. So, then you realize your mistake and you go, oh, shit. You shut the door. You shut the door that could flood the fucking ship. And then you open the door up and it does it. What do we got down here? So don't open that hatch, that's the water hatch. But that one there, look, it's a little fucking scrub machine. Look, that lowers itself down with you sitting on the seats. So you can sit so on like that. like anchor points, yep. connectors. Rope stuff. So basically what you can do is you can use this to lower yourself down to whatever sunk. Connect this to whatever sunk and use it to pull whatever is sunk up towards zero two. And then you can let the exterior cranes on zero two pull it onto the surface now. Oh god, it's got a like slow-mo ladder. <laughs> like can he escape okay, the slow closed door? Do we're going to do a little challenge and see how many rescues can be done in the same length of time. I mean, we have done that in the past, except we had Mute on it and it made it funnier because Mute just showed up in his like, water mobile and then just took out your helicopter and I couldn't stop laughing. What was the words? I can't stop! There are many famous words. Followed by you just saying, well, what do you want me to do about it? And you're like, he's like, Thomas, move! And you're like, I can't! <laughs> Just crunch. How's our patients doing? Everyone doing all right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. We're being paid to look after you guys. I, I know, right? Lose one? No, he's here. He's fine. All their heart monitors are going bleep, bleep, bleep. They're good. They're alive. We've seen Star Trek. As long as it goes bleep, bleep, blop, they're still alive. When it goes do it, do it, then they're dead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyone gonna bring up that I don't think Bashir has any medical qualities? Um... Nah, you can learn that online. <laughs> well, if we check out his sick bay, it seems to be nothing but sweets in jars and broken Star Trek toys with <laughs> medical instruments. I just a wand. <laughs> just, bruh, he's healed. <laughs> or just, no, bruh, that's Chief O'Brien's thing. He's literally just got the magic pokey wand. <laughs> just, that's all you need. Well, that's, isn't, isn't that a famous quote, though, isn't it? If technology advances enough, we soon don't need enough technology, but the minimal technology to survive. Which means normal hospitals might get condensed to just, like, a shipping container, just a bed and just a fucking, like, wand, and then once they, you know, sort you out and stabilize you, just, like, lock the fucking doors and leave you to heal. Well, like, the thing is, like, originally, like, the crew of 1,000 for the Enterprise D sounds like a lot, but a Nimitz class aircraft carrier two, has 5,000 yeah, yeah. crew crammed onto it somehow. It's 2,000 times more than what a fucking ship times the size of that is on a fucking on a show. I mean, it's fucking hilarious. Like, 
Other Star Trek vessels make more sense. Like, they're much smaller and they have, like, a few hundred crew, like a nuclear submarine. Yeah. And I guess, like, like the smaller vessels, like Voyager, the Sovereign class, yeah, it's, it's a much smaller vessel. Like, it makes sense for it to have only a few hundred crew. Yeah, but when you think about it, right, the D was designed mostly as, like, a planet evacuation ship, though. That was its main focus when they first designed it. I thought the D was designed for, like, long-range exploration. Like It is, the yes, but they stuff. thought if it's going to be doing long-range exploration around planets anyway, why not make it capable of being able to, since it could warp there anyway in the heartbeat, why not make it so it can just evacuate a whole fucking planet if it felt like it? Yeah, I'm not quite sure that's how it works, but like, if no, so you like look up the specs. Ship, you're stuck. Look up the I specs. Like this... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play my nerd credentials here and say I'm fairly sure like it's furnished like a cruise ship because you're stuck on it for five years exploring, so you're going to be comfortable while you do it. I mean, yeah, it's kind of. And then stuff like the Cerritos, where like the, like the bunks for the crewmen, like it's just the corridor. Yeah. <laughs> like the California class. California class is just cheap as fuck, that's how it is. Yeah, like that is just what California It's on a budget. They thought, right, what are these corridors really used for? Walking. All right, what's usually in the walls? Electrical panels. Can we move them? Well, yeah, to like the end of the corridors or in pillars. Okay, so what's this big space for now then? I don't know, storage? Okay, what kind of storage? I don't Human. know, goods? No. Let's go bigger. Animals? No. Equipment? No. Weapons? No. I don't know, food? Ugh, oh, fuck it. Humans. Oh, yeah, they're bigger. Will they fit? I don't know. How big is a human? And then we've got like the Sovereign class, which is a full-on warship, basically. Yeah, it's it's basically, yeah, it's just a gun with All right, like, Liz, do you engines. want to know my test if you're a true nerd? Okay. Do you find the following joke funny? What is it? What did the Constitution say to the Defiant? Um, I don't know what's happening. The Defiant class, the Constitution class, what did they say to each other? They said, holy shit, why are we in the same universe? But they, but they are in the same universe. They're both <laughs> Star Trek stuff. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't have the budget to show to put them in the same universe. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> there you go. I just fucked your fucking joke up with an even nerdier question. <laughs> like how they had a backdrop of just a curtain with fucking glinkling fucking stars in it to make it look like they go through space. They just rolled past the window. <laughs> well, hey, it works, doesn't it? It does, but that's what I find so funny. They were working on a budget so poor that they had to invent a way to make it look like it's space outside. Yeah, but that's an old trick in the book, having something on a rotating backboard. Yeah, I know, but let's think about it, right? So many people complained that the, the moon landing was faked in some way, and people keep saying there's no way they could have faked it. And then you just look at Star Trek and you think, eh, well, maybe. They were trying pretty hard on Star Trek. I'll give them that. <laughs> I would love if, like, I believe the moon landing happened because it fucking did. We all know it happened. But I would love to be proven wrong. Well, I and mean, they just said it, it was didn't fake. happen in a quarry. If it happened in a quarry, <laughs> like... <laughs> just in Swansea or some shit. How many TV shows can we name that always use a quarry? Doctor Who, always a quarry. Star Trek, always a quarry. Literally everything uses a Red quarry. Red Dwarf. Let's face it, they've used four quarries in different shows. Let's face it. Four episodes have had quarries used. What else? Um, uh, oh, yeah. Um, 999, what's your emergency? <laughs> Dora the Explorer, quarry. The Rugrats, we're in a quarry. <laughs> Adventure time, an old abandoned quarry from like the human ages. What else is there? In the year 21, 21, 21. Oh, yeah. Beavis and Butthead. They were in a quarry. <laughs> no, I'm going Futurama. Yeah, and Futurama as well, yes. They're in a space quarry. And a space landfill. And a space India. What was that? It's all the work done by children. No, not the yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to find the shiny. <laughs> Death. Let's play, let's find the shiny. You know the dedicated, kinda used child labor? No, what I love the dedicated part was the fact that there is still to this day footage of Star Trek when shit went wrong and they just kept it in. Like when Worf walked up to the fucking doors and just knocked out because the door forgot to open. It's fucking hilarious. I love that so much, watching him like 
run right towards the fucking door and just get bounced off and knocked out because the stage had forgot to open it. You know those doors were so loud, they had to hold their dialogue so the audio could be cut out? Yeah, I know that. That's what made it funnier as well. See, since I heard that, I've now been watching the original series over and over again just to watch how it does, and it does. You watch them just stop talking, and it's only when you realize that's the reason why it makes it even funnier. They're just like, woof, and they're just silence, and the door opens like, you need to go to security. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. How the fuck was it that loud, though? How the fuck is a door loud enough to, like, stop well, production? Well, you know, like, those train doors that roll to the side, and they go... Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> How the fuck, though? How the fuck do you make a door so fucking loud that you fucking have to stop the one thing you made the doors for? Recording. Oh... All right, fun trivia. On Star Trek Discovery, the doors they were using, they actually used a oil-suspended bearing so they could have a nice, quiet, crisp opening. As it just slides on air, yes. They spent way too much money to have the door literally float in oil. A thousand pounds a set. Oh my god. What's, like, your favourite series? Next Generation by anything. Mostly because, right, I'm just saying it's a very, like, very somber thing, right? Though my dad was a class one armor in the army, and he, we moved around all over the fucking world because he was in the Remies, he always made time, even if he's on a fucking army base somewhere, to watch Star Trek dressed up in full fucking costume as Captain Picard, and with his, like, Syrian officers dressed as fucking, like, number one and fucking, like, you know, Damn, the rest son. of them. And I cannot stop howling to this day. His pure... Like, okay, just imagine, right? Just put it in your head. Right, this is the kind of commitment they had, okay? Can you imagine Camp Bastia, okay? There's terrorists running around firing grenades and shit over a wall into Camp Bastia. You know, they could be, like, an attack any minute of, like, rocket-propelled grenades. And, like, you know, there's ram turrets. They just Captain Picard comes yeah. out of the bunkers with the gun, there's, like, all right, where are they? There's ram, the sea ram turrets in the base going, incoming, incoming, uh, 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 and you just see them sitting outside with a fucking TV, dressed up in full costume, and I mean with the suits and everything, the red fucking suits, the badges, the fucking, I will fo I will send you a photograph of, he, I've actually got his pip and his fucking, the buttons. He's got legit ones that he's, that I got from after he passed away. And it's legit, like, it's like Cap Captain Picard's fucking pips and everything. And it's fucking hilarious to think of, like, real soldiers who were, like, sergeants and generals and, like, very high-class people, like, generals and everything, were dressed up as fucking Wolf and fucking, like, you know what I mean? The fucking engineer Comes guy Comes around stuff. the corner and just runs into a Klingon. That's not what you want to happen. <laughs> Like, I know they're at war, but they're standards. Like, you have to have your Star Trek every now and again. This been a temporal it. displacement. We're stuck in one of the bloodiest periods of Earth's history. <laughs> the Gulf War. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's that's why I love the next generation. Because even when he came back, we would, like, watch that shit together. And it was just fucking hilarious. That and Cops. That's why I love watching Cops. Because we used to watch that shit together as well. We did it so much, we used to sing the fucking tune when it came on, innit? Just, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they shoot at you? Right, um, I'm gonna drift Zero Two into the uh, dock. Do you want to open up the side door and bring the people out? Yeah, boy. We're just trying to like drift her in nice and gentle. That's how everyone should dress their captain. You hear, boy? <laughs> Imagine that shit. <laughs> captain on deck, just like the guy behind like the fucking controls on it. Yeah, boy. No, that's when they do the yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like fucking like start like it's just like night shift crew in it. Like Cap McCann leaves the, the bridge, the night shift crew in it. He just goes to bed with like number one and stuff. And over here, it's just like, like night shift. Let's go. The cap just sits down. Yeah, boy, let's roll. Engage, motherfucker. To infinity and this motherfucking universe. I swear to God, that see that robo check in episode of just like the fucking like night crew. I can't stop. Like I love that so fucking much because that just makes yeah, that's how sense. we got the ball hammered. It's, yeah, it's just. <laughs> it's well, just... as we know from Seven of Nine, alcohol is literally the board's biggest weakness. If I know, but it's the fact that the entire hive mind gets bogged down and drunk. It was just the fact, though, is at the end, was just he comes on, just like Night Crew, throw me a beer. <laughs> yeah, that is Picard. <laughs> 
And we're not going to address how Picard is the most British Frenchman he come across. Yeah, but that just shows you how, like, you know, properly, like, prepared he no, was for space. Do you know what this means? He switched Somewhere to one language to survive no, 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 time, English. Somewhere buried deep in Paramount, there must be a reel of Picard trying to do a French accent. Oh, shit. Yeah, think about that. It must be. But he's still alive. Why don't we just go ask him? That's what, that's what we do. We know, we know that he had a wig. Let's do it. Let's do that. That's what we need to do. He Me, had a you, wig. and Mute go on a road trip and just, like, London. go to Picard. He had, a, he had a wig flown in from the UK over to America for the, for the auditions. His wig was the only thing that was unpacked when he moved into his motel. Because that's how short he thought the role would be. Seriously, I'm being serious. We need to do it. Me, you, and Mute, you go on a fucking road trip and just, like, drive down to, like, the fucking ferry port in it, go to like, the Glasgow airport, get on a flight and just, like, fly out and just find Patrick Stewart and just, like, ask him for that reel. That's, like, a proper bros weekend. We just go find to Patrick. Like, fuck going to, like, you know, Amsterdam or some shit and get high. No. We just go to fucking, like, oh, find Captain Lewis. Picard. The warranty. It's fine. <laughs> right, there you go. She's, she's now on the dock, so she's safe. Let's go. I think we spent literally an hour getting just four people. That's fine. This was worth it. We were yeah, discussing no, Star Trek and have laughs. That's how this works. Uh, I'm, I'm rewatching DS9 at the moment, and I really do think it is like the best episode, like the best series overall. You know, you're missing like two guys, right? No, they're all here on my screen. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna more zero two, and I'm just gonna bring the last two guys that are just like standing at the fucking gang. But still, like I would say that Voyager was better than ds9 on one condition but unfortunately they budget. never actually budget comes not to mind the budgeting terms like the one thing that would have made voyager better is if they just let the set be naturally worn down oh yeah i know what you mean so like yeah okay. because like why is voyager so for ducking pristine like the nx01 enterprise at the end of season three or season four like that thing is trash like the nacelle is ripped open there's fractured hole plating 30 percent of the crew is dead and voyage is just wow, there, like how many really crew has we though. lost oh we lost like five people in eight years have you not seen like the starfleet ship records that's like you go through hundreds of crew a month yeah, but health and safety wasn't a thing back when, you know, the Enterprise was a thing. Now it is, like, they they really have to, like, watch what they fucking do. Remember, you couldn't get sued before, now you can. <laughs> Much if that was the only reason why, like, there's been, like, Lewis, so many... Lewis, they phase deaths. into the ground, they don't have to pay their medical bills. <laughs> wow, it really is like America. Straight on dipped. We brought them to shore and they've dipped. Just like, nah, mate, we're done. We ain't fucking, nah. <laughs> we don't have the money. We just lost our ship. We ain't paying anything else. Fuck yourselves. Just leave us on this fucking island to die. Just throws them into the ocean. All right, then. <laughs> at least it's shallow here. You can swim back to shore if you get bored, at least. I swear to God, you've only got, like, two people on my screen. I've only got one person at the moment. Yeah, you've left one on board as well. I fucking thought that. She's just creepily staring at me out all, in the bay. I had four with me when I left the boat. And what? every time I turned around, one went missing. Because I, thought you I had one that ran in front of me. I turned around, I looked behind me, and those two weren't there. When I turned around to look at that one, they weren't there. And when I turned back around again, there was just one there. I thought you'd learned your lesson about turning around. Remember what you did that last time when one of them went into your rotor blades? They, like, that was their decision. <laughs> To get fretted into the rotor blades. <laughs> Dead. Oh my god, how fuck me. Just, just, the, come on, that's it. Just, I love the slow space jumps into the fucking air. Oh, don't fall off, don't my fall god, off. Don't fall Lewis, off. Don't fall I, off. Like, fuck for that. This is why I hate your boat, I'm sorry. What the fuck is he doing? Oh my god, he's a fucking inept bastard. Is he gonna swim to shore? Please swim to shore. Like, as far as plots go, like, Enterprise, the Zindi art, mm, that's pretty good storytelling. Like, DS9, hands down, is the best overall, but, like, Enterprise definitely has, this, like, the Zindi art is one of the best episode-long plot lines. Besides Discovery, like, the early, like, the first two seasons of Discovery, Lorca being a mirror universe imposter, I think that is my favourite plot line of the whole, like, all of Star Trek. Why are there so many people in here? <laughs> I, I might have been a bit carried away rescuing people beforehand. 
There was a small oil rig disaster, and I kind of saved everybody because the dolphin's just amazing. How did I save everybody, you, you ask me? The most sketchiest flight I've ever had in my life. I crammed everybody onto the fucking onto the helicopter and just prayed like fuck they stayed in there as I flew home. It was like a scene out of like Save the Default Horizon. Just fucking everyone's just like crammed on board, like for the love of God. Uh, let me know when you finish unloading those guys so I can get out my smoke, boy. Uh, I'm kind of skipping my way over. Hang on. Still skipping. You could be sometime. Still skipping. Still sk They're all just fucking staring up at the space, by the way. They've just given up. They're like, oh my god, look at the stars. <laughs> I said that he fucking does. He just looks over at the sky. He's like, hey, look, a scar. Come on, you net bastard. Why is he just doing donuts? He's doing fucking donuts. He doesn't know how to follow me. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, mate. Uh, okay, maybe you've suffered brain damage. Oh, you were the guy that was on fire, weren't you? That's why. He may have lost some of his brain cells, Thomas. In the accident. It's the lag. It's known to cause lack of brain. <laughs> really? <laughs> he just levitates up. He's like, yeah, now look at my power. <laughs> just becomes a wizard for real. Just starts like raining down hell. Hey, maybe I have a way of fixing this. Since How? we don't care about realism, and let's face it, we don't. Let's just go lonk and lonk. And lonk and lonk. Hey, look, it's fixed. Dun, 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 dun. What do you mean fixed? <laughs> I've I'm just in a bed sleeping right now. Please hop put... over here and delete your boat. I put zero two into into storage. Excellent. I was going to like professional, like you know, me and you board back on board, and like I re unmoor her from the fucking dock, and like we sail back to the, the dock and put her away. But I thought, nah. We don't care. We're doing this. Fuck it. We'll just do what we want. Realism? No, mate. I love how they sprint in like fuck. <laughs> Only now I get the notification we actually rescue them. Oh my god, I can't put up with this. <laughs> you want to play Stormworks. This is the kind of hell that you have to go through to play Stormworks nowadays. Yeah. The problem is like I can't talk dumb universe stuff when I'm playing Stormworks because I have to engage too much brain even when I'm not actually doing anything in Stormworks. And then there's me, just plays as if like I'm not even like doing shit, I'm like concentrating entirely, but I'm not. I'm just fucking around while concentrating. Hey look, there's one of them. Come with me. <laughs> I found an escapee, she was in the woods. I'm gonna drag her into the hospital and make her pay her hospital bills. Like Sacred Heart always said, come here and use your money. That's right, that was a scrubbed reference, deal with it. Right, okay, let's go. Oh my god, I can move. Lewis, I can move. I can't deal with it. <laughs> right, where are we spawning, like, your boat? Are we just spawn at this I need dock to over sleep. here? Let's go to sleep over here. Well, let's go to the Coast Guard outpost. There's a dock here you can spawn your little yeeti boat in. I do love the fact that, um, this is a good test. If your boat can spawn in here, then you know it's definitely small enough. Only one bed here. That's fine. I'm just gonna grab my. There we go. Get out of that. Gonna grab my bottle of whiskey and have that as a victory drink since we saved four people and used thousands of pounds worth of equipment. Maybe millions. For it. Billions. Yes. <laughs> Pretoria Swig, you are definitely a Scotsman. Oh yeah, knowing the tax rate is going to fucking he feel that one. <laughs> just at the very bottom of the list of like expenditures, just one bottle of whiskey from like a distillery. But like it's like even more expensive than all the the equipment, like the, the ships, the fucking boats, all that stuff. The helicopter, just the whiskey. God damn, that burns your throat. That's a good ball. Ooh, I can just change the level of fuel. Oh, can you? Yeet! Slide on the roof like a badass! Yeah! <laughs> right, we'll spawn your boat in. Let's go. I haven't got any missions to go to. Just spawn it in. You said you want to spawn it in. Spawn it in. 
I think it will fit here, but I'm not sure. You said it was small enough. I mean, don't back it down your words now, boy. Oh, I'm not backing down on my words. <laughs> just doubles down and just like cuts the boat in half. Just I saw this boat in half, but thanks to flex dip, I can make it fit. He just gaff tapes it up when he gets out of the hangar. Uh, which, bit, which bit don't fit? <laughs> oh, this zone is tiny. <laughs> this saws okay, off. Okay, which bit do you prioritize? Which bits do you want? I don't know. It's your boat. Whatever bits you think will not cause it to sink instantly. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need for a boat. I can't put that inside you. You shitting me? Oh, there we go. That's better. There you go. Told you it fits. <laughs> it just sinks instantly. I can't tell why it's sinking though. Is is it because the hull's gone? Right. Oh, like, there might be a small hole. <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> <laughs> it was a very competitive price. I had to buy it. <laughs> it looks like you know that scene. In like fucking um, what's the movie Ghost Ship when the, the the tugboat blows up? It's like that. Just the whole front is just gone. If that it thing fucking starts up, that's hilarious. Owners, one previous owner, an M mute. <laughs> an M mute. It just sold the front for scrap. Does it actually start up? Uh. <laughs> oh, you know what that means. Just try and glide out of the hangar. See what happens. I'm curious to see if you just gain speed and just sinks in slowly. <laughs> Can it generally not move? Now what about... <laughs> just a bit of thrust. Just anything. Just move forward. Yeah, I'll push you a bit. Go. Oh no, wait, look. The propellers are spinning. Just... Is it actually generally trying to get out of the hangar? It's trying. Uh, the propellers aren't technically attached. <laughs> so, this thing wouldn't fit unless you actually cut the nose off. That's what you're telling me. Spawn something smaller. We'll just see if you just spawn something smaller and we use it like to sail across like the other, other bay. You can call in that then. Alright, let's, the let's go to the other spawn where it actually fits. No, just spawn something smaller and spawn a little small dinghy in first and just see if you can sail I don't out of here. have anything smaller, I think. What about the other? Oh, well, no, I oh yeah, I've got the rib mark two. Yeah, just get that and just sail that this out. Full speed. Go, go. I want to see if you can take off. Oh, boo. Uh. Okay, I'll admit I was slightly trying to screw you over there. I was hoping you would sail off, and then I could press a button, and it would just bring a big door down in front of you, and you tried to go away. But then I realized. As I press the button, it only shut the fucking door at the back of the hangar, and I'm very sad Oof. now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty stable. It won't fall over if you make it. That's better. Now I can do a Titanic. Cue the lights! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll be your light. Somewhere. Are you uh, driving properly? <laughs> ah, my eyes! <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Wait, is there more there? There is there. What can I sit here? Oh, it's a battery. That's why. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow. I fell. I got yeeted out. Something is very wrong with the game. <laughs> okay, just drive in a straight line. I'm right in front of you now. I can't interact with anything. <laughs> Lewis. No. <laughs> I just see the lights die like the batteries just died. I cannot move. Try that. Brother, I cannot move. Try the battery at the front. I may have turned something off. No, like, I can't move. Oh, you're like dead dead, apparently. It's okay, I'm swimming back to you. Hang on a minute. I can see your T post inside the fucking the wheel you're facing what the fuck is your guy doing he's like possessed what's going on eh ok 
Okay, I've made it back. Okay. Let's see. This vehicle has bewitched me. I'm going Okay, I'm now driving it. Let's see if I can get bewitched by it. And the game has crashed. I think it's giving me a sign. Ah! <laughs> now, how's it feel to be me? Oh, you died, apparently. I bet it incapacitated you a bit more. Wake up, Thomas. <laughs> Wait, does this even have a defibrillator on board? If not, this is fucking It terrible. does. Yeah, but where, though? <laughs> oh, there it is. He's alive, thank God. And heal him up. Steal the first aid kit from this boat, because why wouldn't I? And we're off. Can I, I can, I can make you sit. You, sit there, good boy. Oh, I know why it killed you. Why? Because remember, this is the mini boat off my Zero Two. Yeah. So, anything related to Zero Two, she'll try and kill you. That's what's happened. <laughs> My logic is fact. That's just how it works. Because it doesn't have all the, like, the flashing lights and shit on it that like my other one does. My, you know, proper one does. Wait, why are we still getting... Is it because the fire's not been put out? Is that what it is? Whatever. How much do I miss the days? Thomas, I mean, you used to rescue people off a boat and just, like, leave it and it would just sink and put the fire out itself. Where have those days gone? No, that does indeed count. I gotta go now. No! Wait, go where? You're on my boat. You're going nowhere. <laughs> Faces out of existence. <laughs> I'm gonna drag your body back to base. You know in it. Into Darkness when Khan just teleports out? Like, I'm, I'm out of here. See you guys. <laughs> Khan just transports out and the ship just crashes. Oh, yeah! I love he just gives him a peace sign as well and just like, he's gone. That's it. I think I've used that tactic in like I have. I've used that tactic twice in GTA 5 when I've just like flown a plane as some really annoying kid and then just like let, like I've joined my friend. You like see you know when you, like, you join a friend, it says loading lobby and you know it's taking forever to find a spot. So I just try and time it to when I notice like the little thing glitch out, I know it's found a spot, it's about to load me in. So I'll just turn the plane I'm in towards a player and then just like load out and the game will load me out towards the fucking thing and I can just watch as the camera just spins out and my plane just hits the ground and kills the guy. <laughs> I've done that twice, and it's fucking entertainment. Well, I'm going to drag your body back to base. Are we this far off? Are you fucking me? Are, this, are we this far off? How far are we? Oh, we're not that far. Fair enough. All right, fair enough. Well, Thomas goes. I'm going to drag his body back to base. That's how this works. I will save him if he doesn't want to be fucking saved. That's the button I wanted. Right, so that's going that way, that's going that way. Cool. Yeah.
things that I can do And I don't have the time to let it all in front of you And you think that you wanna save me You don't know it, baby, why you do this I got this under control You think you do, but you really don't know That I don't need a savior You can't be my savior Be my savior, I'll save myself.
shots high caliber round if you know what's best then you better get down
strangers some diction I could stay all quick without any conviction Broke my own heart this time For believing that a ghost could find a body A lie that hasn't seen the other side So don't call me, I'll find something to escape
first time I saw your face A part of me here yeah, forever changed But I was one now, many more I never had a chance You had the few, I feel the world Some promise you, yeah, the eyes will turn So I don't hear like them anymore I'm just being myself